there's no one else like you in the heavens or on the earth you who keep your covenant of love. let me just move along to to first Timothy 2 5 all right for there is one God and one mediator be also between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. There's only one God. And he is the one who leads us in paths of righteousness. Mm -hmm. He is the one who is our good shepherd. He is the one who brings us beside still waters and the green pastures. He is the one who protects us. He is the one that we can have this confidence. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. That's not the government. I have no fear of Russia. I have no fear of China. I have no fear North of Korea. North Korea. I have no fear of the Crips or the Bloods. I have no fear of MS-13 because I have one who is the defender of my life, the defense of my life, and his name is Jesus Christ. Whatever happens, we need to be praying for those people, yes. Not, yes. not hiding from them because we're so afraid. But there's only one mediator between God and man. So one means one, okay? In the Hebrew, in the Greek, one means one. That's right. <laughs> Just think about this. Early in church history, John the Baptist was beheaded, right? Yeah. Yes. Matthew 14, which talks about Herod, <clears throat> his head chopped off. We just talked about Stephen. Stoned. Early in the life of the church, he was stoned to death. James, the brother of John, Herod, chopped his head off and saw that it pleased the people to do that. He was getting ready to persecute everybody, right? So here you have three saints of God. And by the way, we're all saints, right? But here you have three faithful servants of God who all died early, were, were executed, died, were killed mm -hmm. early in the life of the church. Martyred. Martyred. So for the next 60 years of church life, how often do you see the church praying to them? Never. Never. <laughs> want to take note of that fact? You want to take note of that fact? There's one. Because there's only one. There's only one mediator between God and man, and that's Jesus, right? The early church neither prayed for or to the dead. We got to learn from the from the history of the church. The practice didn't start within 90 years. I mean that, that 90 years of nowhere do you see the church praying to or for the dead. Was that a pagan practice? It absolutely was. And it was a pagan practice it was brought into the church and really became Incorporated. Be, became it became a, f a functional part of the church mm -hmm. as the church went into the time of Constantine and went into, uh, that, that, this isn't the place for that, right? Why would it ever exist when you have, listen to this, for we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who has been tempted in all things as we are yet without sin. Therefore, because of that, we have that high priest. Let us draw near with confidence to the throne of grace so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. Hebrews 4, 15 and 16. We have the, the ability to go before the Lord God Almighty because of the grace of God. In Ephesians 3, 11 and 12, it says, this was in accordance with the eternal purpose which he, God, carried out in Christ Jesus our Lord in whom we have boldness and confident access through faith in him. We have access to the throne of grace because That's of Jesus. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Why do I need to go to Ralph over there who passed away 18 years ago to try and get access to the throne? Jesus died and lives, and he is the one that opened the door to the throne of grace for me. 1 John 5, 14 says this, 14 and 15. This is the confidence which we have before him that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us in whatever we ask, we know that we have the request which we have asked from him. 
We all we got to be doing is praying to the Lord God through His Son Jesus Christ, praying His will. Therefore, brethren, since we have confidence to enter the holy place by the blood of Jesus, let us draw near with a sincere heart in full assurance of faith. <laughs>